The joints on this door are basically a mortise and tenon joint. Now, if you're putting together a lot of doors and you don't have enough clamps, here's a little trick that you can do to hold the door together until the glue dries. If I take a headless pin, about a 5 8 headless pin, and put two or three pins through that are going to go through this into that tongue, it'll hold the joint together while the glue dries, like this. Now, after a couple minutes, I'll be able to unclamp this door instead of waiting 30, 45 minutes, even an hour for the glue to dry. This is a very basic looking kind of a craftsman or shaker style door with the square edges. And the cutters that I used to make it were set up to create a quarter inch groove to receive the plywood. Now, the only downfall to that is plywood's really not a quarter of an inch anymore. So if you look carefully, you're gonna see that there's somewhat of a gap here. What I really need to do is push this forward to where I get a good tight joint there. Now, the way that I'm gonna do that is using a 5 8 headless pin and driving it in an angle from the back side like this. Now you wouldn't want to do this with a solid wood panel, but with a wood panel you'd have the opportunity to actually make the material that was going into the groove a full quarter of an inch. But with plywood, I can afford to nail the edges. Wood, solid wood, tends to move back and forth more, so if I was pinning both edges of a solid wood panel, it'd probably split either the frame or the panel. But with plywood, I've not had a problem. And sometimes when I am doing a solid wood panel, I'll just put a headless pin in the middle at the top and bottom, and that'll just keep that panel if it dries out from moving back and forth. Again, you want to do that in the middle, not on the corners of a real wood panel. And as you can see, it looks a lot better on the face now.